الله وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Pray be to Allah, peace be on the God, Muhammad, his family, his companions. Uh, I'd like to welcome all of you. Uh, two miracles that I'm going to discuss with you tonight is about honey and milk. I start with the first one, which is honey and health. Honey and health. Of course, we give milk to livestock. Pure, nice, tasty milk. Okay? So, and there are many verses in the Holy Quran that describe such um, thing. I am going to present to you a verse from the Holy Quran related to the protection of milk in the livestock. Remember that this verse was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 14 centuries ago. 14 centuries ago. So, you will be able to get the fact how milk is produced in livestock through the verse of the Quran. Of course, it's going to be for us amazing because a person who talked about such thing 14 centuries ago with no instruments, with no high technology, with no uh, the ability that enable any that enables anyone to discover such except through two things either the revelation from Allah who knew the secrets of everything or through science because science established experiments research in order to discover this these things with sophisticated methods and ways. Okay. These are the verses uh, describing the milk production from the Holy Quran. I'm going to recite uh, the third, the verses, the are two verses actually, I'm going to recite them first of all in Arabic because this is um, the language through which the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And then I will translate it into and translate it into English. Allah said in the Holy Quran. وأوحى ربك إلى النحل أن اتخذي من الجبال بيوتا ومن الشجر ومما يعرشون ثم كلي من كل الثمرات فاسلكي سبل ربك ذللا يخرج من بطونها شراب شراب مختلف ألوانه فيه شفاء للناس إن في ذلك لآية لقوم يتفكرون. This is the way we recite the Holy Quran, the verses of the Holy Quran. Okay. These two verses describe how Honey is produced. These two verses are talking about the production of honey. Okay. Allah created the bees in order to produce the honey. 
these two verses tell us how Allah enables the bees to produce the honey. And then, and then, the verse tells us, the verses tell us about how honey is a healing material for your health. See, this is a bee. Allah ordered the bee to go everywhere. Mountains, trees, houses, and ask, ask them to eat from every single fruit. Flowers. Flowers. Fruit flowers. Fruit flowers. And then to get the Dew nectar. or nectar of the flowers and produce from that nectar honey. But I would like to concentrate on this. شراب مختلف ألوانه فيه شفاء للناس. Okay. This is the translation of the two verses. Honey, a healing for people. And your Lord, inspired to the bee, take for yourself among the mountains, houses, and among the trees, and in that which they construct. Then eat from all the foods, and, and follow the ways of your Lord, lay down for you. There emerges from their bellies a drink, varying in colors, in which there is a healing for people. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who give thought. This is from the Holy Quran, chapter 60, verses 68 to 69. Okay. Now, emerges from their bellies a drink, varying in colors, in which there is healing for So, the verse is telling us that the honey is healing, it is healing for people. Okay. Of course, at that time, at the time of Revelation, at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it was really impossible for people to know the function of honey, the function of honey in healing people. But nowadays, with sophisticated instruments and methods, okay, it is easy for the scientist to discover such property, the property of healing people. Now, after we uh, gave you the translation of the two verses, and I concentrated on the, 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 the words from the verses that are telling us about the honey property. About the honey property. So, honey is a healing for people. Okay. First of all, these are different types of honey. Allah said, Sharabun Muhtalifun Alwan. Drink with different colors. This is the first thing. Drink with different colors. Say from Almost white to almost black, with different colors. Okay. Modern uh, medicine confirms the healing property of honey. No doubt about that. It's well established. Honey helps in healing wounds. 
This is the first thing. Honey prevents many disorders. Honey energizes human body. Okay. So, we would like to go through these three functions in order to tell you that the verses of the Holy Quran describe the honey as a healing for people through the modern science. First of all, I would like to go through honey helps in healing wounds. He, he, remember, the verse says, Fihi shifa'un linnas. In it, there is a healing for people. In it, in the honey, there is a healing for people. Honey helps in healing wounds. Honey prevents and controls wounds infection due to its antimicrobial function. Antimicrobial function. When you have a wound, especially burn wound, you put honey on it, okay, and it stops the growth of bacteria. So, it is considered as antimicrobial uh, uh, function, or uh, you can say torsion. This is the first thing. I would like to go to the next slide in order to give you the, uh, the opinion of a famous professor from New Zealand who spent 20 years studying honey. 20 years studying honey. In order to tell you how honey can be used as antimicrobial, uh, not function, antimicrobial uh, uh, prohibition or to stop the growth of bacteria. Honey better than sulfur, sulfur diazine. Professor Peter Molan, in the field of biochemistry at New, uh, at New Zealand University, studied the antimicrobial function of honey and found that, listen to this, found that honey controlled infection in, in, in bird wounds more than sulfur, uh, sulfur diazine, uh, namely used or normally used to control bacteria infection in hospitals. Okay. This professor is from New Zealand University. Studied the honey for honey for 20 years. And he found that honey is better than is better than sulfur, sulfur diazine. Or sulfur diazine. Normally used in the hospitals. So, this professor stood as a witness uh, for the property of, the, of honey. To tell us that honey can be used to stop or to control infection. So, once you, once you put honey over any burn wound or any wound, uh, it starts the growth of bacteria. Okay, <coughs> we go back. So, this is the first, this is the first thing uh, about honey, about the function of honey, to control infection. Second thing, 